everyone and today we are going to start with the lesson 7 master key and as you all remember that we have completed with the reading part so today we are going to do the master key and after this we are going to start with the Q&A which are the question and answers of lesson number 7. So let us first quickly read the name of the chapter and understand its meaning that is Kel Jour Somnu it means which day is it or it is indirectly asking that what is the day today so now before starting the master key let me introduce you all to myself that is Salio Jamapel Smithy Jaswi Ton Professio de Francais it means that hello and it is an informal and I am Smithy my name is Smithy and I am the teacher of your French so now the two most important topics of lesson number seven are the days of the week les jours de la semaine and then we have is the verb aller which is the only irregular verb in the ending in the group of er ending er endings so aller is the only verb which is irregular today we are going to first start with the seven days of the week and then we are going to do the verb aller so let us read the topic Les jours de la semaine. It means the days of the week. So, what is the day today? Aujourd'hui, c'est lundi. Or, c'est mardi, mercredi, jeudi, vendredi, and samedi. Or, c'est dimanche. And today is dimanche. It means Sunday. Today is Sunday that you are watching my video. So, in the same manner, we are going to read all these words one by one understand what do they all mean the meaning of the days in french and then we are going to read them in english the words that i have written in green are for the days in french and the in blue they are for the days in english the first one we have is of course monday which is landi landi then we have mardi Mardi means Tuesday. Then we have Wednesday, which is Mekradi. Mekradi. Then we have Thursday, which is called as Jadi. Jadi. Then we have the next one that is Friday, which is called as Wondradi. Wondradi. Then when we come on to the weekends, it is Samdi. It means Saturday. And we have Sunday as Dimanche. So now, here we have learned all about the days, seven days of the week. And let us read them one by one. Once again, Landi, Mardi, Mekradi, Jadi, Wondradi, Samdi, Dimanche. So here we have completed with the days of the week, Les Jours de la Semaine. And now let us go on to the verb Ale. So here we are at our next topic of lesson number 7 master key that is the verb ALE. First thing first, the verbs are divided into three groups that is the ER group, the IR group and the RE group. And how is the division done? According to the two letters in which they end. So we have done the IR verb in lesson number 5, L5 which is hour. We have also read about the RE verb. It is an irregular verb. It is also called irregular. I will write I. The reason for this is that mainly most of the verbs in RE group do not follow the conjugations of their respective group. So now you all know what conjugation is. I have told you in lesson number 5 and lesson number 3 as well. The eth verb that we read. And today we are going to do the ER irregular verb. So, ALE. We are going to do the irregular verb in the lesson number 7 of ER ending which is the ALE. It is the only irregular verb in ER ending to be irregular. So now, here, let us read the conjugation first. I will just rub it all. Yeah. So now here we are at the first one singular and plural these are divided into two groups according to their subject pronoun that is je, tu, il, el and many other nu, vu, il, cells. so now first come first that is je, ve it means I go tu, va it means you go 
Ilva means he go. Elva means she go. Nuzalo is a plural form of we go. Wuzale means you go. But it is in the plural. So here you go and you go. Tuba and Wuzale mean the same. Just the difference is that Tuba is in singular and Wuzale is in plural. Then we have Ilzwo. That is they go. It is in masculine. And Ilzwo. It also means they go. But it is in feminine. So now here we understand about understood about their conjugations. That is Jave, Tuba, Ilva, Elva, Nuzalon, Wuzale, Ilzmo, Elzmo. So in, uh, instead of meaning I go, you go, they can also mean as I am going, you are going, he is going, she is going. And then if we come to the plural, it can be we are going, you are going, they are going, and they are going, but in the feminine. So that was all for the early verb conjugation and now let us see its uses. The first one, the uses to talk about, it is used to talk about or going somewhere that uh, je vais, je vais, je vais, here we have the first conjugation, a means to, je vais, a, mm, le école, okay. Je vais à l'école. It means I go to the school. And then it can also be used to talk about someone's health. Like is that person is doing well or how is the person uh, feeling right now. So that was all for the early verb. And we have now successfully completed the master key of lesson number 7. And I'll meet you in the next video of question and answers of this same chapter which we are going to do like butter. So bye bye, have a nice day and do like, share and subscribe to my channel.